In this video, we're going to look at factorizing. And factorizing are, and expanding are opposite processes. Let me give you a demonstration. If you have a simple question like three lots of A plus B, when you expand that out, you get 3A plus 3B because everything outside the brackets has to be multiplied by everything inside the brackets. When you factorize, you need to take a collection of terms and you need to put back in the brackets. Factorizing literally means to make factors. So the end result will be two things being multiplied. So we can refactorize this into three outside of A plus B. So we look for a common factor between those two terms. Okay, so just reiterating, when you expand, you go from something that's in factor form, which is three times A plus B. So one factor is three, the other factor is A plus B. And your end result is a series of terms. Then to go from a series of terms back to something that's being multiplied, you do a process called factorizing because your expression will be put as um, a certain number of factors. So putting the brackets back into these questions, we look at 7a and we look at 49 and we say what's common to both and 7 will go into both. So I usually put 7 and then I'll put the brackets and then I say 7 times what gives 7a and that's got to be a. Take away 7 times what gives 49 and it's got to be 7. That's the way I generally do it. Now the next one's a little more complex because we've got a number that's that's common factor and we have a variable common factor. So you can see 3 goes into 3 and 3 goes into 9. And you can see that a goes into this term and a goes into this term. So we can take a out as a common factor. So 3a times what gives 3ab? Well, it's got to be 3a times b gives 3ab. Take away. 3a times what gives 9ac? Well, 3 times 3 gives 9. And then a times c will give ac. Next one's a little bit tricky. We've got... Um, uh, one term x squared and the other term 9x. x is common to both. Put our brackets. x times what gives x squared, so it's got to be x. x times what gives 9. x times 9 gives 9x. Just um, going a little more difficult. So let's have a look at these. Look at the number part. What's is there a common factor in terms of just a straight number? And yes, there is two. And what about the pronumeral or the variable part? Well, a goes into a b and a goes into a squared. So a's. So we've got a factor now of two a. So two a times what gives two a b? So it's b. Take two a times what gives four uh, a squared? So 2 times 2 will give us 4, and a times a will give us a squared. So basically what we're doing is we, we're using the principle of basically expanding this to, to check that our factorising is right. Now the next one's a little trickier. We have a negative 3ab take away, or you can think of that as negative 9ac. In this case, we generally pull out a negative number. So it's negative 3. And a is also common to both. So our common factor here is negative 3a. So negative 3a times what gives negative 3ab? It will be b. Now we need to really watch the signs here. I'll leave the sign till last, but 3 times 3 gives... 3 times what gives 9, so 3 times 3 gives 9, and a times what gives ac, so that's got to be c. And the other thing we need to check is a negative times a, a positive gives a negative. 
Okay, so just check by multiplying this out. So negative 3a times b is negative 3ab, and negative 3a times by 3c is negative 9ac. Now moving on to this one, we've got three terms in, in this expression. 2 will go into all of those numbers, and e, the pronumeral e, is common to all three. So we need to think about what our other factor is going to be. So 2e times what gives 4ef, so 2 times 2 is 4, and e times f is ef. 2 times what gives 6, 2 t e times what gives eg, so it's g, take away. 2e times what gives e 2e squared, it would be just e. Okay, factorising a little bit more difficult. Um, if we look at these questions, it says collect like terms first and then factorise. So we've got 26p and 2p here, so we can tidy that up. We can do that subtraction. That's 24p take away 6pq, and then we can go 6 is common to both those numbers, and p is common to both those pronumeral terms. So 6p times what gives 24p? Well, 4, 6 is a 24, and 6p times what gives 6pq, and that's got to be q. In the next one, adding like terms, we've got an x squared, 5x squared plus 2x squared is 7x squared. We have 9x plus 5x is 14x. And just this one number term, take away 7. And if you look carefully at those, there's a common factor to each of those of 7. So 7 times what gives 7x squared? It's x squared. 7 times what gives 14x, it's 2x, and 7 times what gives 7, and it's done.